postcard is stamped Hereford Cathedral, a very special postcard from the Chained Library. Well, here's a very big surprise for me because when I was told there was a chained library at Hereford Cathedral, I expected, like in some cathedrals, a little bit of a shelf, a few old chains sure. looking a bit dirty and rusty. But you've got a veritable library here. It's the largest there is. It's the largest surviving chain library that exists in the world. That is just music to my ears because it's a first for Hereford and a first for Britain. And why has this one managed to remain intact when others haven't? Uh, a number of important factors, uh, not least that Hereford was never a monastic uh, establishment. It was always a lay cathedral, one of the old foundation. So therefore, with the dissolution of the monasteries, the library here didn't suffer significantly. In fact, it was at that point that the library started to grow. Secondly, um, there has always been a library at Hereford Cathedral. In the very early medieval statutes, there's reference to a chancellor of the library, who we still have on the chapter today, and also reference to the librarian and the work that was going on here in terms of books at the cathedral. The earliest book we have is the 8th century Anglo-Saxon <laughs> Gospel, and we have books from every period up to the present day from then. The 8th century. I didn't know they had books going back to the 8th century. OK, well you hear of the Venerable Bede. Absolutely. And, um, but the next thing you think of when you come to books is Caxton, really. Yeah. And the German printing presses, isn't it? Sure. Well, the most significant part of our collection is pre uh, the working printing press. This is a time when making a book would have taken somebody up to five years to sit down and copy page for page, an order that might have come in from a cathedral or a monastery uh, where, where very important scribes who were very important people would sit down and transcribe whole texts which would then be bound in fantastic beautiful leather uh, with kids skin over, over the outer the covers uh, with oak boards. These were books that were made to last and last they have. <laughs>